Hey guys, welcome back to Legend X Studio. This is day two of making it work transform. Uh, so we're just gonna jump right into a battle today. Our goal with this team is to try and reach 1300 with it by the end of the six days. So far we're at, I actually don't know where we're at with this. So first opponent of the day, they have a team of Charizard, Cogliter, Sylveon, Thunderous, Aegislash, and Landorus. So pretty standard team. Um, what would be good to lead here? So Heatran's pretty threatening to Charizard, Sylveon, Thunders, and Aegislash. You could also do Venusaur Greninja, just get off a Pledge combo. And have Heatran in the back. Hmm. Do I want to do that? Yeah, I think that may be the best play. So I'm going to send out Venus or Greninja, have Heatran in the back to deal with Charizard, and then uh, we're going to try... Ditto! So my opponent sends out Thunder's Conkliter. So this is actually... Pretty good lead for me. Well, I'm gonna go for the Conqueror Grass Pledge plus. Actually, I don't know if it's a good idea to set up Swamp here. They can just do Thunder Wave, which isn't too good. Um, I think I may just Sludge Bomb the Thunderous and switch into Ditto to transform into Thunderous. So. I'm kind of assuming they're going to Thunder Wave that slot, hoping for it. They actually taunt me. I don't know why you would taunt Greninja. Okay, so I transformed into Thunders. They did Taunt and Drain Punch, not doing too much to me. So I'm in a pretty good spot here. Mm-hmm. What do I want? I think I'm going to go for Sludge Bomb on Conk Litter. And, well, I mean, I could take out Thunders this turn. Although I think Conklitter is the bigger threat, so I'm just going to Sludge Bomb Conklitter and Thunderbolt Conklitter. So a double attack on Conklitter. They paralyze me. Okay, let's see. If, oh, I get it. Paralyzation affects me here. Blah. So Venusaur gets paralyzed, and Conklitter is doing Rock Slide, so they're trying to get off like. Uh... Oh, it did Rock Tomb. Hmm. That looked like Rock Slide to me. Anyways, so here, I think, so Conkliter, if I get, can get Conkliter out of the way, I think Heatran has a pretty easy time sweeping, unless it's like Landorus. I'm going to Sludge Bomb Conkliter, just try another team up on it. So they get him power off, knocking out my ditto. Not too good for me. They get Ice Punch off on Venusaur. I get Sludge Bomb off, which is good for me. Uh, okay. So right here, we're going to send out Heatran. And I'm assuming they're going to like Thunder... I'm assuming he, my opponent's Conkliter is probably going to Drain Punch me, so I'm going to want to Sludge Bomb it again, just trying to take hand out. And I'm going to protect Heatran here, trying to save it for later. So my opponent will probably try and Thunder Wave Heatran, or just Thunderbolt, or just, yeah, try and take it out. They actually sent out Landers here. Hmm. So they are trying to do a Thunder Wave. Wow, that did a lot of damage. So... Hmm. Not the best position for me now. Uh, maybe Grass Pledge can give it, have enough power to take out Landorus. And I'm gonna just switch into Greninja. Because I want to save that Heatran later for the Charger they probably have in the back. So they're gonna go for Super Power, knocking out my Greninja. 
That's sad. They Hinpara Ice my Venusaur. Uh, I get Grass Pledge off. Not locking it out. Ugh, this is... This is turning into a problem for me. So, I'm going to go for... Giga Drain on Landers. I'm just attacking that sloth this whole game. And protect. So they send out Conkleter again. Um, protecting. They taunt my Venusaur. That's fine. I get paralyzed. Okay. Well, if you want to play that way, I'm going to Sludge Bomb your Thunderous. And... Well, actually... I'm going to Sludge Bomb Conkleter and set up a Substitute. So they do Mach Punch, doing a decent amount of damage to me. Pinpire Ice in my Venusaur. Uh, Venusaur is just pretty tanky here. I get Sludge Bomb off, knocking out Count Glitter. Uh, I'm in a pretty good spot. How long have I been taunted? They send out Charizard. So, not the best spot for me. Um... I think I'm just going to want to Sludge Bomb Charizard and do Heat Wave just to get damage off. I'm not really in the best position here. So they taunt my Heatran. Uh, do Flamethrower, knocking out my Venusaur. Uh, I'm doing Heat Wave, doing a large amount of damage to Thunders and very little to Charizard. Uh, looks like an uphill battle from here. So my opponent is probably going to do like Thunderbolt, Solar Beam or something. Charizard can't really touch me here. And they're probably just going to want to take out the sub. And I think their Thunderbolt should be able to take out my sub. So they Thunderbolt me, take out my sub. Uh, they Solar Beam my Heatran. Not doing too much. But, you know, not in a good position here. So, Leftovers recovering my HP. They send out Landers. I don't know why they didn't play the last thing. Okay. So, I can't really do much here, so I'm just going to go for a Heat Wave. So this is game. So, yeah. Interesting game. We're just going to jump into a second game and see how it goes. Okay, so this team we're ha playing against is interesting. So they have a team of Articuno, Primeape, Kangaskhan, Whimsicott, Politoed, and Aegislash. Uh, partial rain team, the, the Articuno can utilize utilize Hurricane here. Uh, Whimsicott is just a pain to deal with due to Encore and Kale and Kangaskhan as Fake Out. Primate, not really sure what's going to do here. So... What are they most likely to lead with? I think I'll probably want to lead with Greninja, Venusaur. Uh, have Ditto in the back, and it's something else that we get here. I kind of think I need to bring Heatran. It deals with three of their Pokemon well. Hmm, or would Garchomp be better? So the issue here I have with the team is Kangaskhan. If I bring Heatran, uh, Greninja and Ditto don't really deal with it too well depending on what I transform into with Ditto. Garchomp's a little more versatile and bulky. Well, not more bulky, but... You get the point. Okay, I'm gonna send out Heatran. I'm gonna choose Heatran. I uh, hope it all goes well for me. So my opponent sends out Primate Whimsicott. Okay. I... don't trust that Primate. I'm going to Sludge Bomb Primate. Well, let's see, what's his speed? Do I want to? Okay, go for Grass Sludge, Water Pledge on Primate. They set up Tailwind, Primate's faster, Greninja goes down. I should have just gone with the idea that was Choice Scarfed. Oh well. Okay, so I'm going to send out Heatran here. Um, so my opponent sent up Tailwind last turn, so that's a bit of an issue for me. Uh, Venusaur deals with Politoed pretty good if they have Politoed in the back. Uh, not so much with Kangaskhan. 
They sent out Kangaskhan. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to... I think they may go just for an offensive attack on my Heatran to take it out. I may want to just... Sludge Bomb. Whimsy Cot to try and knock it out or even take... I'm going to go for a damage on King's Con. Just Sludge Bomb King's Con. And protect my Heatran. Assuming they're going to go for like a low kick or something on my Heatran. So they try and encore me. They do power up punch my Heatran, not doing much. Uh, I do Grass Pledge. Does Encore make them attack? They're... Since when does Encore make you attack your opponent's Pokemon? I mean, when does it make you attack the Pokemon that used Encore? Uh... Okay, I'm going to switch here. And set up a sub. So they probably don't have low kick. They have power up punch. So I'm transforming into Whimsicott. They use protect. Uh, they're powering up punching my Heatran. So their King is Khan is now at plus two attack. I'm setting up a substitute. Hmm. So... They have Hidden Power Dark on there. Okay, anyways. So, Tailwind and Encore. I can use that. I could Encore the Whimsy Cut into Protect. Or I could just set up Tailwind. Actually, setting up Tailwind may be a good idea. So, I'm going to set up Tailwind and just Protect. So, they sent out Articuno. Um, I... Protect my Heatran, set up Tailwind. They go for another power up punch, not doing too much. Well, not doing anything because I protected. And I'm just gonna encore the Heat Kangaskhan into. I'm going to encore the Kangaskhan and then do Heat Wave. So Kangaskhan stuck in uh, power up punch now. He would do like nothing here. <laughs> okay. And is Power Up Punch going to be enough to knock it out? No! Okay. Good position here. They do freeze dry my Arctic on my Ditto. Not enough to knock it out. Uh, yeah. I'm going to send out Venusaur here. Switch Ditto in for Venusaur. So I have another Pokemon to transform into later. And, uh, uh, I'm just going to protect here. So I send out Venusaur. It has full HP. They try power on punching me and freeze drying my Venusaur. So I'm just going to go to Sludge Bomb, Kangaskhan, and Heat Wave. Heat Wave. So my opponent can try and like do hurricane here. Ooh, Kangaskhan got poisoned. Yes, Kangaskhan goes down. So they're not sucker punching, which I find a little odd. Okay, so Heatran here is now, I think, the most important Pokemon to winning the game right now because uh, Whimsy Cut and Articuno can't really touch it. So right here, I'm just gonna switch into Articuno and go for a uh, Heat Wave. So now I am an Articuno, <laughs> doing little and nothing, and freeze dry, and it barely hangs on. That just shows the power and bulk of Articuno. So Whimsy Cut goes down. Now they have Articuno left. So, what I can do now is just freeze dry and heat wave. So, that would have been game. So, two. Yeah. Ditto was really important winning, winning this game. So, Ditto's really cool because it, it's very versatile. And 
it just makes the game a little bit easier because I can intimidate the opponent. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you like this video, please leave a like. If you dislike it, dislike it, and leave a comment below. Uh, see you guys tomorrow. Bye.